Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My dear viewers, thank you uh, for tuning into my channel today I'm your brother Yahya Bakit Today uh, I want to talk about what Allah does on Laylatul Qadr As we all know, uh, we are in the last 10 uh, nights and days of Ramadan And within these nights, there is uh, the night of Laylatul Qadr now from this video, we can understand what Allah does on Laylatul Qadr, on that specific night. It's a very important night for, our, for us, the Muslims, who are fasting in this month of Ramadan, that we have to look out for. But what really happens on the night of Laylatul Qadr, that's what we are about to find out from this video. Hopefully we can learn one or two things that is so helpful for, helpful for us as we uh, finish the Ramadan this year. Uh, let's get into this video and understand uh, what it is all about. I love you Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed these nights with perhaps the greatest blessing of time that we have been given as Muslims and that is Laylatul Qadr. There is no time frame that is more blessed than the one night of Laylatul Qadr. That is the, the, the pinnacle, the queen of all time frames in the whole year. There is no time frame that is more blessed and more holy than that one night of Laylatul Qadr. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned multiple verses about Laylatul Qadr. Of them is the beginning of Surah Al-Dukhan, Hamim, Wal Kitab al mubin Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatin Mubarakatin, Inna kunna munthirin, Fiha yufraqu kullu amrin حكيم أمر من عندنا إن كنا مرسلين رحمة من ربك إنه هو السميع العليم. Six verses about ليلة القدر. We all jump to سورة القدر and that's valid. But we forget in سورة الدخان the first paragraph is all about ليلة القدر. So there are in fact two paragraphs in the Quran about ليلة القدر. The beginning of سورة الدخان and of course the entire surah that we have all memorized and that is surah al-qadr and in the beginning of surah al-dukhan allah azza wa jal gives a qasam and oath by the magnificent quran and he said we have revealed this quran in a blessed and holy night and we are the ones who shall do so on that night every single matter is decided Fiha on the Laylatul Qadr, Yufraqu Kullu Amrin Hakim. Every wise matter is decided. Amram min indina. This is our command. This is how we have legislated it. This is what we're going to do. That on Laylatul Qadr, we will decide all matters. Now, of course, our scholars say the decision is not made on Laylatul Qadr, but the decision is announced on Laylatul Qadr for the upcoming year. And it is announced to the Mala al A'la, to the highest group of angels. It is it is announced to uh, the creation of Allah that is, that is in the upper world. That's the angels. So they are told of Allah's qadr for the upcoming year. Not that Allah Azza wa Jal will, as they say, make up. No, Allah Azza wa Jal doesn't make up his mind. Allah knows from eternity what's going to happen. But on Laylatul Qadr, the announcements are made. The, the responsibilities are tasked out to the angels for the upcoming year. As Ibn Abbas said that on Laylatul Qadr, it is possible that a person is preparing his bed and he doesn't even know that the announcement has come that he shall die that year. As Ibn Abbas said, it's possible he's preparing his bed, he doesn't even know. And on that day, Allah's decision will be announced that so and so will die. And he is oblivious because he's not worshipping Allah on that day. So the point is because it is the time of announcement, we should engage in the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Laylatul Qadr, the night of Qadr, is something that Allah has blessed our ummah with. No previous ummah has been given Laylatul Qadr. This is a blessing given only to our ummah. It is mentioned in a hadith that is not fully authentic. It has weakness in it. But inshallah the concept is valid. And that is that some of the Sahaba said, O Messenger of Allah, the Quran tells us of stories of people that live for 950 years or the previous generations live for so long. How can we compete with them when we only have 60, 70 years? How can we compete when they used to live for so long and we have such a short period of time? And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed the ummah with Laylatul Qadr. That on this night, the worship of one night will give you more than the worship of a full lifetime. We all know a thousand months is more than 83 years. 
And who amongst us worships 83 years? Even if we live 83 years, one half is in sleeping and earning money, another third is in wasting time with this and that. We actually, actually worship less than 5% of our time. But if we worship on Laylatul Qadr, we get a boost or a bonus that is simply unimaginable. 83 solid years in our lifetime of worship will happen if we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that one night. And of course, Surah al dukhan mentions Laylatul Qadr and of course, Surah Al-Qadr mentions Laylatul Qadr. Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr Allah mentions the word Laylatul Qadr three times in Surah Al-Qadr. And whenever Allah repeats a word, it signifies its importance, its blessings. So even the word Laylatul Qadr or the phrase Laylatul Qadr is mentioned three times in Surah Al Qadr. And also the phrase Wama Adraka Ma Laylatul Qadr. It occurs rarely in the Quran, Wama Adraka. But whatever, whenever Wama Adraka occurs, it signifies how great is it and how can you possibly understand how great is it? Wama Adraka, what will make you understand what is Laylatul Qadr? Means it's beyond even the blessing is so big. Allah is asking, you won't appreciate it. You will not appreciate Laylatul Qadr. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا Laylatul Qadr. And then to give us one blessing, Laylatul Qadr خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ um, Laylatul Qadr A very, very important night for us, the Muslim. It's a, be a blessing from Allah. Considering that uh, our lifespan is short, none of us have the opportunity to worship Allah for more than 83 years. That blessing has not been given to us in real, in, in a physical sense. But this is what we can use to make up for the time, you know. Because uh, as it was mentioned, previously people used to live longer than this, especially during uh, pro uh, Prophet Noah alayhi salam time. You know, people were living even a thousand, thousands of, thousands of years. And for us, it's only a short period of time. Maybe we get to worship Allah in, in maximum, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60 years. And also within this time, we also do a lot of other things. Is eating, you know, the, the time time is not is not is not there for us. So imagine this night that has been given so much importance. Mention was made about it in Quran. The word Laylatul Qadr in Surah Al Qadr mentioned more than uh, about three times. And also Allah stressed the importance of this night. It is also important that we consider this night as important. I don't know whether that makes sense, but yeah, let us consider this night important and let us worship Allah during this night. Imagine it is the last 10 nights of Ramadan and one is not bothered of catching or engaging in ibadah during that night of Laylatul Qadr and you just go through your normal sleeping routine. It will be so much waste that uh, it's regretful. The waste that is regretful. So I hope we are all trying to uh, cast the layla to Kadir, although we are in lockdown, we are praying and we are observing the night prayers and we are asking for Allah's forgiveness on this blessed night of Ramadan, uh, the last 10 nights. I hope this video has inspired you to at least uh, benefit from the next five nights that is still remaining for us. Hopefully, uh, you are able to pick up from there and benefit from me to you today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let us catch Laylatul Qadr. There is still that opportunity. I'm out.